Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Dwyer here. It is Friday and that of course means it's another wonderful day for basics and today you can see here we are on our Foxy account because you know... Alright now granted I probably should have ranked it up off stream but it's three games left to be uh, to go up to... what is this rank? Three Don uh, from one Don so I figured you know what let's maybe play tonight make sure it double ranks and uh, yeah then maybe next week we'll have some wonderful games at the 3D level. Sounds like a good plan. Basic, remember. Basic, so if you're interested in that, definitely want to tune in for next week. Also want to do a quick message saying that we finally made Twitch Partner. So those of you who've been following my channel know that I've been after that for a while, so that's really cool. Got a bunch of emotes and badges and whatnot to have created now. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um. But, of course, I couldn't do any of that unless you guys were tuning into my stream regularly over at twitch.tv slash batsgo. So, though I did get partner, couldn't have done it without you fine folks. Thank you for continued support, your continued viewing, and letting me know what you guys want to see. Without that, couldn't have happened. Let's grab a game. Alright, got a 1033. 2033. Um, tell you what, I'll do it. And I think we're going to play a bit of an aggressive game today. Aggressive mood. So I'm not going to make a framework if I can avoid it. I want this to be a 3-4 point so I can approach. Start, uh, you know, getting a little weird. Getting a little crazy. Why did I decide to do a video right now? There's a Tendon versus a Tendon playing. The resign button's looking kind of sexy. Mmm. Video must come first. I'll 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 look at I'll look at the ten down game later. I'll look at the ten down game later. Right. So we're approaching the three four point rather than making a framework. We're playing. Or we're trying to play a bit of an aggressive game. So we're trying to uh, encourage him to get a little feisty. What's that? I'm not really sure what that is? I mean, I don't know what that is. I'm, whatever, I'm just gonna make something up. This is an odd position. <laughs> you can see in the bottom left I said, uh, you're welcome Milky Cold, because he, he actually subscribed right before I clicked go live. So that's interesting. This is something that you never do because the do this uh, double Hane works. I've known that forever. Those of you who know the earliest game I have on record against a Fordon, you'll know why I know that quite so well. Oh, okay. So he's gonna take a he's he's willing to take a little bit of a loss here. All right, all right. Uh, I don't think this is a good idea. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play something like this. Connection, I think, is the best option. So a lot of people would be tempted to play here right now. Uh, I think that's a bad idea too, to be honest, because I can play here, for example, and then throw in here if I want to be a jerk. Why did I click it? Because you're an idiot. Yeah, that checks out. Um. So we're looking to be aggressive, but we're not looking to be... We're not going to overplay, tell you what. I'll... <sighs> Fine, I'll do this. He's got to play there, otherwise, you know, there's a double authority. Okay, so we'll go and play here now. I actually, I could have... don't... don't say it. Alright, we'll just do this. And take his corner. Nice and easy variation, right? No problem. It's no problem. So he should extend here now? So he should extend here now? Uh, there's no reason to fight this, so I'll back off. I'll hit the 3-3 defense, because he needs a defensive move in here, otherwise 
the uh, shape point can be taken advantage of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably play like something like in here because we're starting to go like over and okay, we're overplaying. All right, that's fine. I'm just gonna take a moment to get a two space extension here because it's full on capping the group that I kind of want to attack, and it puts a lot of pressure. Yeah, he's a little bit concerned. Now, if we were playing pure basic, we would just back off with like something like this and be okay. Um, <clears throat> we're not doing that today. Uh, instead, I'm going to take the liberty to play something different, like a pincer. I'm going to try and break these two groups up, because I don't think uh, they deserve to connect. Ever. I also don't want him settling, so I will take a moment to take a uh, nice little shapey point here. To make sure that he can't just live here, like so. I'm absolutely 100% fine just extending because there's nothing he can do about anything that I'm doing. I can cut to the fourth line because this cut just goes down here. See, this is what he's looking for. He wants me to play here, then he can cut. But you know what? I'll let you in on a little secret. It's such a tiny secret. That doesn't matter. You want to see why? I'll show you. Keep in mind, the corner's open still. So we Atari down. We remove a Liberty. He does that, that's fine. Now he could go here, here. Okay, we're not. And yeah, now he's running on the second line. Run, run, Rudolph. Cause you're gonna die tonight. So you can see here the fundamental problem behind what he just did. Now you might say, but Dwyrin, what if he kills your st what if he kills your group over here? Oh no, my group! Heavens, not my group! Not my group! I don't care if he kills my group. Honestly, if it dies, it doesn't matter because we've completely destroyed any profit over here. This is under attack, and there's an invasion point here. So this would be like the only territory he has this game. Oh, okay. So now he's trying to hit me over here. I don't know why he insists on a 20 minute game when he's in fact not <laughs> using his time. It's it's weird, um, but all we need to do is settle. So first thing I'm going to do is small knight myself. I'm just going to get a base. He can prove to me these stones. These two stones are connected. I probably won't believe him, but he can try to prove it. And it just limits how much this because he can go hunt honey here. I hunt it back. He like connects. I play here. He throws and I'm dead does kill me. 100% kills me. It just doesn't matter. How much territory would that be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 16 plus 8 plus the territory. That's small, my man. Ooh, and Comey. Too small. Too small. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Having zero potential in exchange for the wall that you gave away does not equal a winning solution. Now, now he uses his time. All right. Now he's thinking, do I kill him? Maybe, maybe. How can I kill him? Okay. Don't mind me. I'm going to just go ahead and here, which is going to show me where your cutting point is. Okay. I'm also getting over top of this position, you can see, because there's cutting points here. Oh, can I just like walk out? Can I like walk out the front door? You kidding me? I can. 
All right, we just walked right out the front door. Cut doesn't work, so he's not going to play it. The poke is interesting, I guess. Uh, this cutting point works, by the way. So that's something to consider. Um, yeah, I don't really care about that either. Uh, I guess I'll go back and live now. He could have killed me. He can never kill me now. And uh, we're alive, because we've got this and we're out. And we've got this. So I don't really see a reason why I should be concerned with my guru. We can also do something... Again, that's not a threat, because he goes here, I go here. Um... Want to see a magic trick? I'm going to go ahead and cut this because this push uh, works and it always has worked and it always will work. <clears throat> so we're just cutting through his positions. See, the tarry down, we're fine. The Atari's over, he's captured. The Atari's up, he's captured. So in neither direction are where we can go. Okay. He has to ignore that stone or he's dead. Oops. So now he's completely enclosed, so he has to cut me or he's dead. He still has to cut me or he's dead, but if he cuts me, then he's really, really dead. I have a choice right now about trying to kill him. Oh, that's a weird one. I thought he was going to play here and, or cut me first and then try to go there. This is a little bit, um, you know? So I think in true fashion of the basics, I'm going to defend myself here. We are being horribly aggressive, but we're not being murderers, I don't think. I haven't decided. The jury's still out. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. But you can see how he didn't protect his shape here, which has allowed us to uh, push and cut. So we got Mii between this and this. Therefore, I'm going to play not against this group because it's trying to surround me. And instead, we're going to play something like this against this group. The reason why these cuts don't work is because we're relying heavily on the net. We're relying on the net here, we're relying on the net here. Uh, I think we relied on the net somewhere else, but I'm not sure where. So this is a classic mistake. We're going to Atari down and push out. This will allow me to potentially kill the bottom of the board in uh, one easy stroke, because you can see there's the Atari here now. He has to cut me. We Atari him. We use that as free move. And now this group has to live. So by controlling these stones, we were able to dictate where they were going and the wall that we gained from them. Like I said, we have no interest in trying to kill him. Um, Yeah, I think, I think it can, though. Uh, instead, what are we going to play? I have no idea. Uh, instead, I'll tell you what, let's go and do something simple like... Um, I don't know. Where should we play? I don't even, I'm not even sure where we should play. Where should we play? Uh, I mean, this is fine, right? So we need to follow up our last move that he didn't, that he didn't respond to. That's, 
that's the one that we should be after right now. So what's the last one we didn't respond to? Like there's there's the take, which makes this fine. Uh, so he didn't respond to the top of the board. Yeah, that, there we go. That, that's, that seems reasonable. That seems reasonable. Um, PP my cutting point. Nasty habit. Really nasty habit. It's like um, not planning an alibi when you murder someone. I mean, that's, it's, just, it's just something you just don't do. I mean, it's rude, really. You're taking all that trouble, all that effort to do something. I mean, you know, got to put your... Got to put, got to put your energy into it. But maybe he wants to make sure that these stones are dead, so he might poke. Maybe he's going to poke here too, and try and make the middle a large area. He's allowed to. No one said he couldn't. Uh, playing here though, I think Karna kills him. I don't see where he gets his eye from, to be honest. I really don't. If I play here and he has to respond, and I just play here and knock out this eye, then he's surrounding. That this is the shape that he's going for. It's not. Uh, it's not pretty, man. Let's go ahead and put pressure on this stone. We're not going out of our way to get rid of the middle because we're not interested in it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, he might even kill these stones, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to do that, right? Because gets me into the middle. He can cut here and take my stone, but then it's sente for me. Again, maintaining some access into the center. He'll get a couple of points. He'll get a couple of points, absolutely. We can't stop all of it, you know? We just want to make sure that we've got a little something here and there. That's all. Little something here, little something there. We've already seen this. Bom 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 bom. Not bad. Um, I'm going to play Solid Connection, I think, because the Honey now works. Uh, so the problem is, now I'm poked at this cutting point. But instead, we're going to move this around the top. Because again, these stones are dead, right? So, whatever, you know. Keep my stones. My corner's pretty big. I like my corner. Cut them off. Turn. I got a little bit greedy there, but that's okay. The uh, poke here is king. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He knew. He knew. He knew. So unfortunately, now there's like this huge collection of crap in the middle of the board. Um. There's this huge collection of crap in the center of the board. Um, killing is a bad idea, right? Our cutting, our stones here aren't connected fully. Well, how do we connect this up nice and solid? No, they are connected, stupid. It's a capturing stone. Wow. A lot of people let you play go. Um, I don't know. We do. Could push and cut. It seems really brainless though to do that, but really, I ask, I I don't know what else to do. I'll just I'll just do it, I guess. Here we go, pushing and cutting. Because the Atari is over, we can go up and connect. 
We can tower this and be fine. We can play here and kill off the three stones. I mean, whatever you want to do, really. All right. I think I just I think I poked him slightly one too many times. I think he seems to be angry now. Yeah, I've confirmed. Confirmed some degree of anger here. Uh, lucky for us, we're reading. So we're gonna play here into here, into there. Can you read it out? See? The Atari? I didn't know the Atari was here, but I saw that we had a bunch of liberties. I'm sorry, dude. No, I'll take this. He can live with this group, but these are mine. It's all about those connections. It's all about those connections. 100%. All about them connects. He kind of um, made a little bit of a boo-boo there. He had like a lot of uh, a lot of jumps and stuff right next to a really, really solid wall. So that kind of a little bit too much. Yeah, okay. So he resigned. Um, like I said, we're playing slightly aggressive. And I wanted to highlight how you can play aggressive in your games. I also want to highlight what is too aggressive. What would be too much aggression in your games? So I played this because I wasn't sure what else to do, to be honest. I mean, this is okay. So I felt that was going to be a fine thing to do. Um, if he just played here, I would just, you know, do. Whoops, not that. That's bad. That that's bad too. I can't click. I just do that. I mean, that seems fine, right? He played this way instead. Now you might say, but Dwyerin, can't he just go and kill off your stone? I mean, look. Look at that. Where's your stone gonna go? It's like, no, he, that doesn't actually work because there's a ladder. Ladder favors me, so we're pretty good. If he saves, I kill. If he surrounds, kill that too. So he plays this. This was special. Now he could play here, in which case I'm still looking for life. And I'll probably just play something like um, this maybe. I don't know, just take a high point. I don't, I don't really have a problem with this because he's really low. I mean, look at this. That's not territory. So we're talking one, two, three, four points with this corner. I like that. I think maybe this way would have been better. Force me to like play here, and then he can play here, something like that. Now I'm gonna have to like cap or something silly. Try to give me this one. Should extend up at the very least to make certain that uh, got an area there. The cap here is really good. And also an example of maybe too much aggression. Like a lot of people might want to go back and play here, let him jump, and then just get into a jumping battle where there's cut points here. There's, I don't know, maybe you're going back and forth on this one now. This is an example of a game that got too complicated. Like there's no real reason for these jumping battles. You know? You're not behind. The weakness isn't going to go anywhere unless he gives you Sente. So believe in your ability to use Sente effectively, and then you don't get overly complicated. Instead, he puts a board on like this out, and now we've got a cap here, which he ignored, an overextension here, which is staring us right in the face. This is an example of where you could play passively, and then just take the next large point, or you can start the fight that you want now and see where you go from there. I mean, either of them are, either of them I feel like are okay. He did this, we extended. Now what I was going to say is he could go here, into here, into there. 
Maybe. Could he? No, he can't, can he? Because the turn here actually works. There's no ladder or anything. Yeah, never mind. I guess he can't do that. I apologize. And this just... At this point, I don't see how he could come back and live. How, or how to come back and win the game. There's too much going on. Like, he can kill me. Not that one. He can kill me by playing here. I mean, I've got this. He'll play something like that. Or maybe here. Uh, if I play here, he throws in. I could try something like this to make things complicated, though. I mean, that's something that we could do. We can probably profit from that, though. So, not really very threatening, you know? And the outside's still in trouble, right? So yeah, kill the corner, we don't care. And then this we just got out, went back and lived. We cut through here because he's got like, yeah, he just doesn't have shape, you know? Unless we were to push here, and then give him shape. Then you'd have some shape. Then you'd have some shape. But we didn't push first. There, we just went for the cut. And then now he can escape. I kill this. This will die. But maybe I connect up in return. You know? And I'm fine. I'm okay with that. Maybe it's a game still, maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know. I do not have any idea. But I'm okay with this. We get the corner, we get some stones. I've got a group that I can attack still in the center of the board. I can attack a group on the bottom of the board. Either way, we're fine. And from here, everything's pretty straightforward. Like I mentioned, he can cut me here, and we'll probably just sacrifice this. I mean, we could fight it, but I don't think we're going to. Because our stones just die. So we would just go ahead and uh, invite this to live. Maybe play something like that as a defensive measure. And really, that's that should be the majority of the game. Yeah, that's that's game right there. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed uh, our game today. It was a little bit quick, I do confess, a little bit fast. But I wanted to give, I was hoping to give an example of uh, aggressive play and overly aggressive play. And the top is definitely a wonderful example of over aggressive play. Um, another example of over aggressive play would probably be. Throwing in here, right? And then trying something like that. Because our stones are now dead. We were too aggressive. Now we're dead. So we fixed. Then we went on the outside. It would also be overly aggressive to have decided, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and live here. Like, this isn't aggressive play, this is just silly play. Because then you play the move in Gote, he gets to see how he can surround you with forcing moves. And suddenly you're the one in trouble. And like, maybe this lives somehow, I don't know, but he got to expand on the left while you were doing that. I mean, that'd be kind of bad. So that'd be nice, another example of overly aggressive play. So I hope uh, as the series continues, you get to see the difference between uh, properly aggressive play and overly aggressive play or overplays. 
so you don't uh, fall into those in your own games. As always, I'm Dwyer. This is a basic series. Hope you've been enjoying it. And I will see you next week. Take care, everybody.